Hello, today my topic is the ladder of inference. What is ladder and what is inference? It's a, a way of describing our thinking. So very often when we are dealing with complex problems like uh, the climate change, climate issues, we think that the complexity is only related to the subject matter, how climate is to be understood. But um, we are as complex as, uh, as the climate. So the way we think uh, can cause as much problems as, as uh, environmental impacts onto the climate. So the theme relates to systems thinking and systems intelligence. Systems thinking is a natural approach to, to understand interrelationships, which are the key drivers of uh, climate change, climate issues, environmental issues. But uh, there's also interactions uh, in human systems. So we, as social animals, so to speak, create a system when we interact with, it, with each other, and this uh, creates another kind of system. And Peter Senge from MIT uh, wrote a book uh, 30 years ago called The Fifth Discipline. It was uh, describing human organizational systems, uh, and uh, he had uh, a term, uh, the, learning society, the learning organizations, how organizations could learn to take into account people's uh, behavioral patterns. And the fifth discipline in his book um, is systems thinking. And then there's another concept, uh, systems intelligence, which uh, I and Professor Esa Saarinen developed uh, 15 years later. And our, our point is that we cannot uh, look into the systems from outside only. We have to see that we are always part of the system. And the way we see the system can be different than what another person sees the system. So these are the two key concepts that I'm trying to illustrate with the ladder of inference today. The ladder of inference you can see on this uh, slide uh, starts from uh, the fact that we have a situation, we have lots of data we can observe, we can read, we can see, and uh, then we typically start selecting things. So we select the data from the, from the pool of available data. It's uh, shown on the slide uh, with this uh, little uh, blue round. Then we start thinking, what, what is this data all about? We start to add meaning to the data. This means this and this means that. Then we create assumptions. Then we <coughs> uh, make assumptions and start to think what's, what's uh, the consequence of this assumption. And then we make conclusions. And then we start uh, to believe in our conclusions. And suddenly what happens, we believe in our conclusions and we go back and look for the same share of data to confirm that our conclusions are correct. So we're actually in this vicious loop that we think that we are improving our <coughs> thinking by just looking into the same selection of data. And once we are trapped in this loop, we can make very dangerous, difficult decisions and wrong. So the learning thing is that while cl climbing the ladder, you should always, when, when you're on the top, uh, top level, start thinking, what did I really think? Do I challenge my thinking? Did I see the big picture? Did I only select, the, select the one part of the data and uh, made my uh, assumptions based on that? And the risk of uh, this uh, phenomenon of uh, deceiving yourself is very strong, in particular in settings where you have a good goal. You have an agenda that I want to save the environment, I want to save the save the organization, so I'm looking into environmental issues only. In the organization, I'm looking into how other people behave. So how they behave, and I forget that I'm actually part of the same system myself, and uh, I forget that my own impact uh, could be as, as crucial as, as the others. So I will uh, demonstrate this, uh, this uh, way of thinking with, uh, with an example from my last summer's uh, fishing trip. I was in northern Finland uh, flying into the, into the wilderness with this tiny plane and I was looking down from the plane and I saw barren land. Oh, very exciting. And nobody there. We landed, then we made a camp and started fishing. 
The observations which I made, I was uh, environmentally sort of triggered this beautiful environment. I, I pay attention to what, what the environment is like. Started fishing, so I see uh, nice flowers on the riverbank, clear water, crystal clear water, and no catch. No catch, flowers, and barren land. And then I start uh, giving meaning to these uh, phenomena. So if there's lots of flowers on the riverbank, uh, it may be that uh, there's uh, lots of nutrients in the river so that the flowers can get uh, what they need and they are flourishing. So nutrients in the river, but the water is very clear. I've heard that, uh, that acid rain produces uh, crystal clear waters, so perhaps acid rain. And there was no trees, so perhaps acid rain has also killed the trees. So I came up with these uh, assumptions and started to make conclusions that this must be an environmental problem. I can't catch fish. These phenomena relate to environmental problems. And uh, then I start to believe that maybe, yes, this is, this is an environmental problem with the river. And the next day I was still fishing, seeing the same, same phenomena, no catch. And then I come to the confirming conclusion that I've seen this uh, day after day and there must be something wrong with the environmental system. And then I come to the conclusion that I have to take an action to suggest that this river would be subject to a restoration project. Would this be the right conclusion or would there be another explanation? I had only looked into, into the river, the environmental issues, I had not considered myself as a fisherman or my flies, did the, were the flies the right ones to be used there? So you can, can have two alternative uh, uh, outcomes. You can think sort of systems wise that this is a system and the, the environmental conditions have changed the river so the problem is in the environmental system. But if you take a systems intelligence perspective you embed yourself into the system and see that, oh, Raimo, you are such a lousy fisherman. It's not the environment which is the problem, but it's your fishing skills. So with that uh, perspective, you perhaps come closer to the real solution of the, of the problem. So you can try yourself uh, testing the way you think with, the, with some of your own situations and see how easy it is to be trapped into this uh, data selection and then coming to narrow conclusions about, uh, about your uh, solutions. If you want to l learn more about systems thinking or systems intelligence, I encourage you to watch uh, some videos made in, in the Aalto University, one by Peter Senji, he was visiting us, he's talking about systems thinking and Professor Esa Saarinen talks about systems intelligence in his uh, presentation. Thank you very much.